ciao. Good morning. Uh, good morning. So Pam and I are here today. We are going to go into the store and she's going to order some parts for her very first time. Let's check out how that yeah. goes. Yeah. My engine air filter and my cabin air filter so I don't need a man to do it next time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Open up the Oh, there's a 2016 Honda Civic. What does the engine filter do? Like it exactly. protects the lungs of your car. Yeah. Oh, okay, exactly. And then the cabin is the one for like circulating air mm -hmm. inside, right? Okay. We have the uh, cabin air filter. Uh, uh, three options. Microguard. Microguard and the Wix. Okay, which 29, one? 29, 22, and 35. You don't need anything special. Oh, I don't. See? I would have been like, which one's the best one? So. Like, what's the difference between that? Oh, the brand. Yeah. Okay. So, um, does it, but they all do the same thing? They all do the same thing. Okay, so I get the cheapest one, right? Alright, uh, Okay, perfect. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. We're uh, we're filming her first experience at an auto parts store. So yeah. I'm gonna change an air filter. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, let's boogie. Okay, auto parts store number two. Two in one day. Round two. They have my engine filter. Yes. Oh, so the um, information I need when going into the auto parts store is my car make model number. Yes. Okay. A lot of places they can look it up by your license plate or your VIN. Oh, yeah. see, I did not know that. Okay. And then um, the people in the front should be able to help me determine which one is needed for my car? Correct. You're welcome. Hi. Okay, well, that was hard. Two stores told us that they didn't have it, but we managed to get it. Yay. Um, okay, we're going to go install this thing and uh, show the world how easy it actually is. Yeah, so uh, 20 bucks for one filter and then almost 25 bucks maybe on average for the other filter. Yeah, but you had options, right? Yeah, so I did. like you could have gotten a more expensive like HEPA filter. There were options. Mm -hmm. um, and then also there's like online options. But either way, it's not going to be 80 to 120 dollars, whatever they were going to charge me. Exactly. Because like, there's clips here. Unclip them. Okay, now lift that whole box up. Pull up and towards you. There's a little hinge back here, so when you pull up, it's oh. got to go towards you. Oh, towards? Uh-huh. Pull hard. Hard? Oh, shit! Okay, so see what you're hooked in back there? Yeah. Okay, there's a little plastic yeah. thing. So pull this out and let's check it. Because the underside is what counts. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's dirty. That's real dirty. Okay. Old. <laughs> Very new. Okay, so it just goes back in reverse. So the meaty side goes down. Yep, and then there's only one shape way. Yep. You're right, it is. It just, it's intuitive. Did these. We're gonna. 
charge me. <laughs> How much did Jiffy Loop say? Um, I think it was it like it no, was this, like 40 bucks. this one was 40 bucks, right? This one was 40 bucks. This one wasn't too bad. And How long is it taking but you? The way <laughs> and I didn't even need really your instruction. <laughs> like, you just had one. I just asked you where the air came into the engine. <laughs> You're like here, here, here. And I'm like, oh, there's clips here. Just pop open. <laughs> And I swear Honda was going to charge me like $60 for it. And for something this simple, it's actually quite insulting that they would let me ride around like this, knowing how much damage you can do with my engine. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's kind of like, I hope everyone, I, I am a dumb dumb. And I figured that out. So please. Uh, first of all, don't insult yourself. You're, I know. You're highly I know. intelligent. No, but I'm It's still. just that you were intimidated by yeah, your car. It's very, it, it's just. It, so let's put this yeah. back in. Sorry. So just put the clips back in the back first. Just so like that. Okay. Uh, like, and then it should just yeah. line up. And if it lines up, then those will hook right back in. And that's it. High five. I how to do. Thank you. Now, what we are looking at. Oh, this is going to be super straightforward. So you're just going to push this in and this in so it's oh yeah it's, yep i saw it on the thing yeah you just did this yep. and i was like are you kidding me okay so gentle yeah <sighs> there we go i'm gonna get that out of the way yeah um that can just hang there and then you, yep you see the little tabs there can you see them or do you need a flashlight yeah, a little bit okay pull it out as straight as you can so it doesn't get dirt everywhere i mean i've seen much worse yeah because I, I you know what it is i probably had it like replaced one time like they probably like got me um, How much did they say to cost? It was gonna cost to uh, replace that oh, one um, at Jiffy Lube. Sixty-two dollars. How much did the part cost you? Huh? I think it was twenty bucks. Was cheap one. It was yeah, 20 bucks, like, like yeah. twenty bucks, twenty-two, something like that. And then the other thing you want to look at is on the air filter you just pulled out. There should be an arrow that says airflow. Yes. Sir. Okay, so you're gonna want to follow putting the other one back in the same way. So this is the new one. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, it definitely looks different. It's cleaner. Yeah, it's cleaner, but it, it's like fatter. Does that make a difference? No, they're the same size. No, probably not. It's, it's these things. So where does the arrow go? So this arrow's this way. Okay. This arrow's this way. Oh, so, so, like a so as long as the arrow goes down, what? it's gonna go in this way. Oh, really? Does it matter that the arrow? No, like this? you just need to know that the arrow. Like the, yes, oh, exactly. Okay. Oh, that's actually okay. Okay, thank you. So, airflow goes down and airflow goes down. There's yep. even like a helpful little arrow here, too. Hell yeah. Slide up. That's it? That's all they were, they were gonna charge me $62 to clean the shit out of my glove box? They were. They're gonna charge me. Okay, but you gotta finish. You gotta put the clippy thing back in. Nope, the oh, little the black cover. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just so like discombobulated because it literally took these. <laughs> so someone had to physically do that. Take it out. Take a picture. They probably Show. didn't unless they actually took a picture of that one. I don't know. And then let's squish them back together. Yep. Yeah, and that's and it. Then, then, then open and close it. Make sure that that's seamless. There you of go. It's seamless. You're done. That took two seconds. Girl. You seriously, you're a badass. You get a fist bump. You did this yourself. Yeah, I did it myself. And now all the trash is gonna the trash. This was a really fun experience because it was Pam's first time at an auto shop, and she came to me because she really was really kind of intimidated about working on her car herself. And after that, she now has the confidence to do those couple things, which will literally save her money over the lifetime of her driving and owning vehicles. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe below so we can help other people find this video. I offer automotive education and consulting, so if this was helpful or something that you want to learn about, please make sure to reach out below. My contact information is in the description.